Titan. My name is Marco. And I'm Hector. And welcome back to the latest edition of WLTV. We are going to start off this episode with covering the next service club activity. Which involves packing necessities for the homeless. Here we have Maya Garcia with more information about the service club. All throughout next week, Service Club will be collecting supplies for homeless packages. These homeless packages will then be handed out throughout the city of Chicago to any homeless people in need, but they need your help. Some supplies that we needed will be listed right here. So go do Adam a favor and buy some supplies for the homeless packages. They can be dropped off at the Dean's or Student Services with Mr. Vasquez. Any donations will be appreciated. Thank you guys so much and back to the studio. Thank you, Maya. And for any students who want to volunteer or donate necessities, feel free to talk to Mr. Bain or Mr. Vasquez about it. Hey, Marco, have you been down to the auditorium this week? Yes, I have, Hector. There has been many talented writing this whole week. Here we have Marco and Luke with more information about Writers Week. This week, for the third year, Leiden's Writers Week had returned. Writers Week allows students... Teachers. The first order of business was to restrict all Muslims from coming into the country. I had told my girlfriend that morning that I knew something was up, but I was not prepared for the phone call. And guest speakers. And be understood for simple equation. I think instead, everybody please give a big round of applause this time in the And I got to collaborate on materials with writers and actors of all sorts of other artists to all get up on stage and tell personal life stories. So I decided to speak with one of our guest speakers this year to see why they think writing is so inspirational to high school students. So I'm here with Rachel Jackson, who is a writer and performer who spoke at Writers Week this year. So Rachel, what inspires you to write? Um, right now, um, I look at, I've been looking into the past. I think that sometimes people are like, I look around the world. Um, I've been diving into memories a lot, and that's been inspiring me. So what makes you feel that it's important to speak to high school students about writing? Um, I got into performance in high school. Um, I didn't get to writing, I got writing in middle school-ish, but I think high school, I had a high school teacher that really rocked with me, and I think like, honestly, I think that English teachers in high school are monumental. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking of the teacher right now and you hear how excited I am. I think that talking to high, school te high schoolers about Writers Week, or during Writers Week, sends me that connection of my English teacher in high school when she like, literally pivoted my life and made me focus on literature and performance. So I think that just this event alone is amazing. And shout out to the English teachers. Everybody else is important, but you high school English teachers, you all really do change lives, in, in my opinion. So my piece is about my ethnicity and how people um, get self-respect and appreciate who they are. Um, my piece was about a toxic relationship that I was in, and I hope that the school can notice this stuff quicker and do something about it. Uh, my piece was about domestic violence and what I went through, and I hope that girls actually or boys get help from it and actually go and ask for help. Hi guys, I'm Gabby, and my piece was about um, a, a life experience that I'm actually going through at the moment and how um, kind of that a relationship was broken that I want to be rekindled. My name is Gianna. My piece was about my friends divorcing. And I hope you guys reach out to people, your friends, whenever you feel alone or you're going through something like that because you're not alone. Hi guys, my name is Sam and my piece was about two of my good friends committing suicide and I hope that people can get out of it, that every life is worth living and that just do what you want and not what everybody else wants. Hi, my name is Smiley. My piece is about uh, an assignment we had to do for English about the pictures of Chicago mixed with some of my feelings I have for memories of that place and some old family history from it. Hi, my name is Carlos and my piece is about embracing yourself for who you are. Don't let anyone tell you to be different or always try to fit in because you are who you are in the end. Make your life worth living. Just be yourself all the time. My name is Angelica and my piece is about my first crush and I just want people to know that Feelings aren't always reciprocated, so just don't let it stop you. Hi, I'm Julian. My piece is about a guy <clears throat> realizing what he wants to do with his life, and I hope that my piece, people can learn what can learn that uh, happiness can come from anywhere. Hello, my name is Victor Alviso, and my piece is about why I'm a Republican. I hope my piece can inspire other people who share the same ideology as me, aren't afraid to speak out about it, and just spread the word about conservatives. Hi, my name is Angelica. And the piece that I wrote is my little brother who died like four years ago, and I hope people like appreciate their siblings because not all, not all of us have the same. 
Hello, my name is Pounders, and my story was about my football experience and winning a national championship for the Leiden Bears. Hi, my name is AJ. My pieces were about the surroundings of Chicago and what I put my feelings into. Thank you, guys, and back, back to, to the, the studio! studio. <laughs> Thank you, Marco and Luke. I really enjoyed this ride this week. The Literacy Fair was also held this week's Wednesday, where students were able to present their projects. Here we have Ryan and Suida to cover more about this. Thanks, guys. So I'm here with Lazar, who's a literacy teacher here at Leiden. So, Ms. Lazar, what's the Literacy Fair, and why is it beneficial for literacy students? Well, our students have been spending about eight weeks choosing a topic, researching um, questions that they had for that topic, and then the Literacy Fair gives them an authentic experience where they have an audience that they can present their research to. Uh, my name is Maria Hernandez. So how do you feel about the Literacy Fair, and do you think it's a beneficial for your child? Um, well, I'm glad that I uh, did attend, and I feel like I did support my, I, I love supporting my son and being proud of what he, um, of his experience of doing his presentation and also listening to the others. It's really interesting and um, it, it was a good experience and I was here last year and I'm going to be here, I was here t today and I don't know about next year but um, it's, it's something really nice. So I'm here with four Latin students who are currently attending the Literacy Fair. So guys, how do you feel about this Literacy Fair? I feel that it's a really good opportunity for students to learn how to research better and for organization on their presentation. I thought that it was a great experience in general. I learned how to um, make a professional video, so it was a great opportunity to really show my growth as a student. I was able to make a professional brochure, and that's something I've actually never done. Um, I thought this was fun and I think it's a good experience for the upcoming freshmen and pretty much everyone else who's in literacy because they get to learn how to be more responsible and do all these other projects. great presentations. I agree Hector. Now it's time for a little bit of fun. That's right Marco. Here we have the best duo at Leiden asking trick questions to students. Good morning Leiden. We're here with Alex and Ricky. So Alex, your mother has four children. North, East, South. What was the name of the fourth? South. <laughs> your mother has four children. North, East, and South. What was the name of the fourth child? Ricky. Hey, and Andre, how many months have 28 days in them? How many months have 28 days in them? February. All right. And uh, how many terms did Benjamin Franklin serve? One or two? Benjamin Franklin was even a president. Thank you. I'm here with Leonella and Emily. So, Leonella, um, when did World War III end? In the 70s or in the 80s? 70s. All right, uh, Emily, you got you have 13 puppies, all but eight die. How many do you have left? Eight. I'm here with Steph, and Steph, I have uh, two questions for you. Uh, how many terms did Benjamin Flank Franklin serve as president, one or two? He wasn't a president. All right, good job. Uh, <laughs> one more. Uh, can you name two days starting with T besides Tuesday and Thursday? Thank you. <laughs> we have Giselle and Noemi. So Giselle, how many terms did Benjamin Franklin serve as a president? One or two? No, I'm <laughs> uh, <laughs> One. Noemi, your mother has four children. North, East, South. What's the name of the four? West. Alright, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Wait, your mother. Wait, wait, hold wait, on. Wait, I help you. Go. Your mother has four children: North, East, and South. What's the name of the fourth child? West. Exactly. It's West. Your mother has four children: North, East, and South. What's the name of the fourth? Your mother. 
Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so not and now we have Marco Guzman talking to a WSC team leadership member about the charity work that will be held next week. Good morning, West Lighting. I'm WTV's Marco Guzman, sitting here with Ellie Engelke, a member of the WSC leadership team. So Ellie, what exactly is WSC? So WSC is a club at Leiden where a group of selected students go to a conference at the beginning of the year and learn about leadership. And then we take the rest of the year to fundraise and do everything we can to make the school better. Nice. And what are you guys doing next week for Junior Olympics? So next week for Junior Olympics, we will be selling class merchandise in your class color starting on Wednesday. We'll be selling bandanas, noisemakers, and beads, as well as do uh, Minute to Win It games for just a dollar during all of the lunch periods. Nice, nice. And where is the money raised for this going to? So the money raised for this is going to a foundation called Seal of Freedom. It is... They are supporting victims of sex trafficking by uh, building homes, by giving them supplies, and by making sure that they have somewhere to be after they've put in, been put into that situation. Nice, that sounds awesome. Make sure to bring money next week to support a good cause. We're bringing school pride so victims don't hide. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Marco. Well, that's all Wait. the time. Before we end this episode, do you know what next week themes are for Spirit Week? I do, Marco, and I'm glad you asked. Monday is tie-dye day. Tuesday's class color day, freshmen are yellow, sophomores are blue, juniors are black, and seniors are togly. Wednesday is twin day. Thursday's ethnicity day. And Friday is your class junior Olympic shirt. Well, that's all the time we have today. Don't forget to show your school spirit next week. And don't forget, go Eagles!